uh, it, it, was in, it is indeed a very cloudy uh, Friday morning. And I welcome you to another beautiful edition uh, of the program. It is Super Don Sport. And you know, this is where we come to discuss what is really going on in the world of sports in general. This morning, I uh, will be talking about the Super Eagles list that was unveiled yesterday by the Gaffa in charge of the team. I uh, was talking about Gennett Rowe, who did invite two new players into the team. And we'll be talking about uh, the home base Eagles that will be partaking in the Waffle Cup tournament. I uh, was talking about the African uh, Nations Cup made for the West African region. And we'll also be talking about the fraud uh, issue that is really going on working the Nigerian Football Federation. Remember, uh, there was supposed to be a court hearing yesterday, but members of the Nigeria Football Federation Executive Board were not available. And we'll be talking about the at, uh, World Athletic Championship that will be kick-starting today in Doha. And we'll be talking about uh, Meda Opus uh, for the Nigerian team uh, that will be partaking in this particular one. And we'll be talking about the big league over there in the European continent, talking about the English Premier League, and not forgetting Spanish La Liga and German Bundesliga. All of this have to come your way to this morning on today's edition of your favorite sports show. You know, it is Super Dawn, and this is where you get to get information uh, concerning proceedings in the world of sports in general. Ade Dotun, Agunyadi is the name. And this morning, joining me is Tayo Olomishola. Tayo, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a cloudy Friday morning, and how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. And, and people uh, will come to say that it's a mini Jojo edition of the show. Yes, it's we, we, uh, TGI. Of edition. course, thank and God it's uh, Friday. We are, all, we are hopeful to have a fantastic uh, time out tomorrow yeah. with some exciting games yeah. across Europe. Okay, this is where we come to prepare you for what you'll be seeing in the weekend, talking about the football uh, tournaments all across the world, starting from Nigeria. <laughs> Uh, talking about the Cup Champions League, we are aging by international. We're partaking in this and we're talking about all the tournaments across uh, the world and not forgetting the big one uh, in the world of athletics that will be kickstarting uh, today. Let's start today's edition with the news concerning the Nigerian national team. Just yesterday, the Gaffa in charge of the team, uh, in person of Ganastro, unveiled the list of the guys that will be representing Nigeria in the game against Brazil, uh, Brazil national team. Uh, well, let's talk about this. 23-man list on view. Do we will see that always we don't have a perfect list. Well, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a, a good step in the right direction and it's a fantastic one that will be coming up against the Brazilian national side. And um, just like uh, the, uh, the report this morning, apart from we have the regular faces except Peter Olainka. And then looking at that squad, with what we... Uh, we shunk out against the uh, the Czech Republic side, the uh, Ukrainian uh, side. The Ukrainian side, rather. I, I think we should be able to hold out. At least a draw for me will not be a bad result. But <laughs> taking the three maximum points against the Brazilian national side, uh, I want to sit on the fence. But I'm hoping I'm hoping that at the end of the day we are going to get a fair result. Okay, to get to the fair result in that particular game is what we are all calling out for, and some among ex-internationals. I've come out to say that Nigerian national team, the Super Eagles, uh, need to pay the Brazilian national team back with the, account, with the coin in which they paid us when they traveled down to Nigeria during the opening ceremony of the Abuja uh, National Stadium in 2003. That was the last time we locked arms with them. Hopefully, it's going to be a fantastic game. Let's talk about these. Let me quickly roll out the name of the players invited to the part for this particular encounter. The goalkeepers are Kichikwe Zewa, Francis Uzo, uh, Maduka Okoye, who plays his student in the German League. And we have the defenders, William Twist Ekong, Kenneth Omero, Semir Ajayi, Chudeze Awazim, Olai, Nonshu Abdullahi, and not forgetting the wonderful left back player, talking about Jamilu Kalis. And the midfielders we have with Fred Ndidi making the return to the team after uh, actually not being part of the game against the Ukrainian team. Again, Karo Echebo, Alex Iwobi, Joe Aribo, and uh, Adasin Esiti, and uh, a new entrance into the uh, team, talking about Raymond Aziz Do, who was one time invited to the Nigerian national team, but he's actually staging a return. And uh, former, for the forwards, we have Victor Osime, Paulo Noachu, Peter Olainka, a new entrant, uh, Samuel Chukwezi, Samuel Kalu, Moses Simon, and Emmanuel Dennis Benaventure. And, well, let's talk about this. The Czech Republic Club, Slavia Prague, have celebrated 
uh, online class invitation to the Nigerian national team. Good one, celebrating this by the club. Yes, it's a fantastic one, and uh, not forgetting uh, the the uh, uh, his performance against Inter Milan in the Champions League. Uh, I think uh, with what we saw that day, uh, is a good one that is is being celebrated, and I'm hoping uh, we are going to see him. Uh, replicating the same form when playing for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And it's a fantastic one that we now have a lot of, loads of Nigerian players doing us proud uh, in Europe, across Europe, both in top league and in, uh, lower, league. in lower league. So it's a fantastic one. I'm hoping that the, the uh, outlying car we, uh, we replicate that performance he has been uh, doing for the Czech Republic side. Okay, are you really delighted that Raymond Aziz, one time captain of the Nigerian under 2017 national team, is being recalled to this team? Uh, he said he's delighted. Are you delighted because we don't have a Mikel anymore? Well, well, I'm delighted, but the, the truth is that uh, the question is still is he is still uh, the question is uh, he's still in that form that we used to know him for because it's Raymond come during the weekend against Barcelona. Well, uh, it's a fantastic one, but I'm hoping we'll be able to replicate the form we know him for at that particular time. It's a fantastic one. Now that we are having somebody stepping in that shoe of Mikel Obi, it's a good one, and it's a good step in the right direction. A good step towards the right direction. Let's still talk about what is going on in football. Let's talk about the home Eagles uh, that will be partaking uh, uh, in the hung uh, at the uh, the tournament that will be starting today is talking about the Waffle uh, Nations Cup. This top particular tournament is meant for team uh, in the West African region. And the coach of the side, Imam Bakabo, have actually revealed the list of players and they've actually gone down. They will be touching down at Senegal, the host of the tournament today. And um, uh, the man said that he is trusting the guys that lost 4 1 against Togo just last week. <laughs> well, um one might say that losing against Togo League's national side, going to Wafu, they might perform hopefully. And they'll be playing against the same Togo in their first game. Well, I still hope that our boys, they have everything uh, in stock going for them. So we shouldn't judge them by uh, their performance against the Togo League. To me, for me, uh, the scoreline is not uh, the decider for me. But because I, I'm, I, I, I actually believe in those boys. With the crop of player that are being uh, listed on the team. I, I feel those boys will be able to do us proud. And I'm hoping they will uh, bring the uh, trophy back to Nigeria. Okay, talking about doing us proud, let me quickly roll out the list of uh, list of names. I have before me goalkeepers. We have Adamu Abubakar who flies this gate with Wiki Tourist. Galadima Mohamed, Nasarawa United, Teofilos, a fellow guy of Eimba International. The defenders, we have Olisa Unda of the Rare Monsters, uh, Stephen Mario of Eimba, Uduchuku, uh, Anumudu of Lobby Stars, Oko Inya Aqua United, Ebube Duru of Lobby Stars, Et Oibo Akpan of Aqua United, John Lazarus, uh, he plays straight with Lobby Stars of Mark Odu. The midfielders, we have Sikiru Halimi of Lobby Stars, Vataik, but I'm also shooting stars, Williams Ukeme, Wiki, uh, Wiki Tourist, and the Freaky, if young, uh, plays straight with Aqua United, uh, Chisom Oji call, uh, is actually uh, with College Edwin Academy, or Latunji. Oluwa Damilari of Eyimba, Samuel Matias of Aqua United, and the attackers, we have Sinisu Ibrahim, the joint ISB scorer, and the Niger Nash, uh, professional football league last season of Nasarawa United, Seth Mai of uh, Remo Stars, Tosin Omoyeli of Plitu United, and completing the numbers of players invited is in Formodo, uh, who was the joint ISB scorer with Sinisu Ibrahim. Uh, last season. Away from that, let's talk about the car, the scandal that is really rocking Nigerian football as we speak. Uh, Federal High Court in Abuja yesterday uh, thrown at the refusal of, of four officials of the Nigerian Football Federation to appear in court uh, for the alleged $8.4 million and $4 billion fraud case. Uh, we, we need to talk about this. They all failed to show fees yesterday at the court. And don't you think that this is not a very good one? If you are not guilty, why can't you appear before uh, the court of law? Well, for, for me, it's uh, looking at the, uh, apart from the court case, I think getting this kind of news from our sports is quite unfortunate. And by now, we ought to have developed to a certain stage. Learning, although we might say we are copying the Europeans, but I don't think we are copying the right uh, 
the right attitude, the positive side of you. Because the truth is that it's not as if those guys are there already. Mm. But we need to learn some certain uh, ethics. Learn certain ethics. Because yeah. these guys, you get to hear about Spanish La Liga, uh, English Premiership, German Bundesliga, the way they are making waves. But instead of our football to be growing, we just have scandal all about. And uh, maybe in a couple of uh, days back, we are talking about um, um, the president of uh, NFF, in person of um, Amadou Pini, that he should just step out if he doesn't have any skeleton in the scoreboard. But with this, uh, they are sending a wrong signal to the people out there. So that means there must be something they are hiding. Because ordinarily, if you don't have anything hiding, you should be able to step up and appear at, uh, at the court of law. What to me is, is quite unfortunate we are hearing this. It is really quite unfortunate that we are hear hearing this as we speak. But let's move away from scandal and talk about what we'll be seeing on the field of play a day after tomorrow in the CAF at Champions League where Ayimba International will be locking horns with Hala Lee and the fourth leg at Ayimba uh, International Stadium ended in a stalemate, zero all draw. But a man talking about in in the Anemone come out this Ifani Anemone rather come out to say that he believes his team uh, can go down to Sudan and gather the maximum three points and qualify for the next round. Do you see this as something that the Yimba can do? Well, for me, uh, in the game of uh, a competition like Champions League, uh, a, um, a way go is always an advantage. And yes. then Yimba going into this uh, particular competition, they have a lot of advantage working for them. Yep. Judging from the fact that they did not concede at all. But we must not forget that going to Sudan is... <laughs> It's a very tough ground to go. And uh, I'm just hoping, I'm wishing the boys all the best. It is one thing for the coach to talk tough. It's another thing for the players to get the job done. But for me, I'm giving it to Imba to get all the maximum three points. Okay, giving it to Imba to get maximum three points. Uh, if they can get the maximum three points to keep the, keep on, uh, keep the flag of the Nigerian Football League high in the CAF Confederation, in the CAF organized football club tournament. Let's talk about the 2019 World Athletic Championship that will begin today in Doha. And Team Nigeria represented, uh, we have 25 athletes that will be representing Nigeria. And uh, let's talk about the medal hope, hopefuls. Uh, let's talk about the angle at which we think we can get medals. Uh, let's talk about this blessing of Kagbari, 100 meters. She's in the form of our life. Uh, 100 meters and 200 meters. She even has seen her personal record of 11.05 uh, seconds. Let's talk about, do you th think that she's going to post another good performance to give us a medal? Well, uh, going into uh, a, a competition of this nature, you know that she's going to be competing with the mm. best of the best. And um, although I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be so <laughs> sure of... But she did compete against the best in the world during the Diamond League. And she, uh, she, she had 11.04 seconds. Well, the, the, the issue is that she should be able to replicate that form. Okay. Because going into this competition, this is another competition, and all the people that she actually she, she, competed, against. she competed against, they will be preparing in order to ensure that they actually uh, they come out tops. But I'm hoping uh, she will be able to do us proud. But for me, I, I think Ebuka, uh, 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 the short footman, uh, that man, I'm expecting him to get us a medal and maybe a whole lot of other uh, athletes for me at the end of the day. Okay, talking about giving us medal, the, uh, the, uh, the games that will be starting today in Doha, let's talk about this. Uh, the Vino de Drew is one among the best in the world when it comes to athletics, who actually uh, breaks the barrier of 10 seconds uh, not so long ago. He used a personal best of 9.86 seconds in 100 meter. To be loved by son, she's a great cut older when it comes to our uh, uh, 100 meter holders in Africa and even in the world. As we speak, he's a current champion in Africa. Uh, Raymond Ekovo, who actually announced himself uh, for the world at the African Games main 100 meter with a personal uh, best of 9.96 seconds. Uh, maybe he's going to become one among the best in the world. Let's wait and see how it's going to unfold. And Ace Brumen, we always know that she's going to deliver when it comes to long jump. And Chibebuka uh, uh, Enechi that you mentioned the other time, she is definitely going to give us a medal. We are hoping that all of these guys uh, will go out there and do us proud in the 
uh, World Athletic Championship. Let's uh, move away from the athletics uh, this morning and talk about the uh, most prestigious league in the world, the English uh, Premier League. And we'll be talking about the fixtures of games uh, we'll be seeing during the weekend. Uh, Sheffield uh, United will play host to Liverpool Football Club. Uh, Stone Villa will be at home to Burnley White Crystal Palace. I will lock on with Long Norwich uh, City. Wolverhampton Wanderers will be up against uh, Watford City, while Bournemouth uh, will play host to West Ham United. Chelsea uh, will welcome Bryson at uh, Stafford Bridge, while South Tottenham Football Club uh, will be at home to Southampton. Everton uh, will be up against Manchester City and Leicester City on Sunday, uh, which will circle with Newcastle United on Monday. The biggest other, uh, game of the seat of the weekend, uh, Manchester United up against Arsenal. But let's talk about this. Uh, Everton against Manchester City. Everton has always been a stumbling block uh, for Manchester City. What do you think will happen this weekend? Well, for me, I'm um, hoping Manchester City, they will keep up the form they, uh, they have been uh, this season. Although they've lost one match. And uh, if you look at Everton, they've been here or there. Although they've not been picking all the three maximum points. But I'm hoping to see an exciting game. And uh, Manchester City, knowing them for what they knowing can Knowing them do, as a the team to them. Apart from beating uh, teams, they know how to score a lot of goals. So I'm expecting to see a fantastic encounter between the two sides. Okay, talking about seeing a fantastic encounter between the two sides and the fourth game we are going to see during the weekend in the English family, we'll be seeing Sheffield United against Liverpool. Do you think Liverpool will go all out again and take the maximum three points? Well, uh, looking at Sheffield United, they just got promoted. They want to give everything possible. And it is Liverpool that have a point to prove in this particular encounter. Sheffield does not have anything to lose, although they are going to give everything. But I'm hoping the Georgian Club boys, they will be able to do everything possible to continue with their run of form. Okay, continue, continuing with the run of form, let's talk about the big one. Uh, Manchester United up against Arsenal. Your darling Arsenal. <laughs> well, for me, uh, looking at the status of the two managers, I'm not expecting to see an exciting... Uh, a win for Arsenal or a win for Manu? Well, uh, the, 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 uh, probably a draw at the end of the day. A draw at the end of the I'm day, not, why? I'm not hoping to see because the glamour that comes with man you playing against us now is no more there uh, because they are not title contenders they are not title contenders <laughs> and uh, the, the two of them they are more like pretenders now so but at the end of the day i'm expecting to see an exciting uh match probably a draw at the end of the day. a score draw at the end of the day a score draw between manchester united and arsenal uh during the match d let's move away from the english Premier league and talk about uh, the Spanish La Liga, and let me quickly rule out the fixtures of game uh, we'll be seeing in the Spanish La Liga. Villarreal will play host to Real Betis today, while tomorrow we see Athletic Bilbao uh, will be at home to Valencia. Gatapi will be up against Barcelona. Atletico Madrid will welcome uh, Real Madrid. And Granada uh, will play host to the Gantry. We'll be having two Nigerians, uh, three Nigerians on the field of play. So on the side of Legant, we have Chidoze Awazim and uh, uh, Kenneth Emiru, they are both defenders, and on the side of Granada, uh, they will be up. Uh, they will be parading uh, the new, uh, the newly invited uh, players to the Nigerian national team after a very long layoff. Uh, talking about Raymond Aziz, and on Sunday we'll be seeing Exfion play host to yes, Valladolid Deportivo La uh, Alaves. We'll be up against Real Maluca Sevilla. We welcome Real Sociedad. El Alba uh, will be up against Seta Vigo Wise Levante. We lock on with Osasuna. The big one, the Madrid derby. Atletico Madrid up against uh, Real Madrid. What should we be expecting? Well, it's going to be a fantastic one. And um, uh, it's going to be a tricky encounter. And the good one is that uh, Eden Hazard will be, uh, will be facing his long-time uh, teammate, former teammate, uh, Diego Costa. Well, I'm hoping to see an exciting match. And one thing about Real Madrid is that you never can tell what they are going to bring but, to the but they've been neither here nor there this season what they are going to bring to so the they table. are turning out results in recent time but you cannot actually compare the real madrid we used to know the, the, the funny thing about the the derby is that tomorrow we might see a glow uh, a go gallo but let's still keep our finger crossed and see what's found out at the end of the day okay let's keep our fingers crossed and see how it's going to unfold on march day uh the game between atletico madrid 
and Real Madrid. And finally, this morning, let's talk about the German Bundesliga. Uh, we'll be seeing games today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Uh, Union Berlin will welcome Eritrea Frankfurt. Uh, while my 05 will be up against Wolfsburg. Uh, RB Lisbon, uh, the most informed team in the German Bundesliga, will be at home to Schalke 04 Banderborn. Uh, we lock arms with Bayern Munich. Why? Wonder Bremen will be on the goods to, uh, uh, to Dort Borussia Dortmund home. Why? Fortuna Dusseldorf will play host to Freiburg. Augsburg against Leverkusen. Offiam will against Mochen Glabach and FC Conon against Eta Berlin Sport Club. Let's talk about German Bundesliga briefly. Uh, RB Lisbon, they've been wonderful this season. Yes, they've been fantastic. I, I just hope they will keep up the form. And Do you they think they are going to beat Shaka Hofa this weekend? Well, they have everything going for them, and um, I'm still for them to. Uh, they've been putting all the big, uh, big names aside. So I, I see Shaka Hofa also going the way of the teams they have, have, have come they up against before. this season. So and I'm hoping they will not go the way of Dortmund at the end <laughs> of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Tayo Lawrence for making today's edition of Worldwide. And to the guys at home, we say you a big thank you for actually the minute feet. Uh, to be part of our production. Uh, we'll actually be drawing curtain now and Olamide will be coming to wrap up the Super Don show. Goodbye. <laughs>